Why does the English government get involved in other countries' business when they need to mind their own? Because, Tweety Spurs, um, they always have. And England originally built its empire on stealing other people's land. So they had a pirate navy in Elizabeth the first day. And they used to just go up to other ships and say, what are you carrying? Gold doubloons. Right, load that onto our Royal Naval vessel. We'll leave you alone or we'll sink you or whatever. So it was built on stealing. And uh, gunboat diplomacy. And I think post-imperial, they've still got that idea that they are very good at conquering. But we'll see. <laughs> Scotland, the only country to fight off English oppression over and over again. Yes, Big Lloyd. Queen Victoria was heavily involved in slavery. No one mentions that. Grim. Everybody mentioned because it was actually King Charles who was involved. So everybody throughout the world, Belgians, Africans, Indians, Dutch, Germans, uh, English, they were all involved in slavery. America. I mean, Glasgow used to run the tobacco industry. You know, so everybody was involved in slavery. That's how it was done. But the Africans originally started selling other Africans. So, you know, that's how the slave trade started. And then people thought, hang on a minute, we can make a few quid here. And human beings were treated in a fairly worthless way. So you can't just point the finger at one person and say they were involved in slavery. Tut, 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 bad people. It's kind of how things were. Now that doesn't excuse it, but it does explain it. I'm no apologist for slavery, but I can tell you I know my history.